Ceramic products have not been available for some time now. No worries, Duranamel is an excellent alternative. It has the same hardness and durability. And, unlike Ceramit, it's not hazmat, so it ships without the outrageous hazmat charges. Oh my god! Wow! Okay. That's enough silliness. I'm a serious computer voice. Using Duranamel is simple and easy. This video will detail everything you'll need to know to produce beautiful, hard, and colorful results. The proper ratio is two parts color and one part catalyst. For excellent results, precise measurements are important. You can proportion the mix by using a scale. However, you will likely find that using syringes is easier and faster. And it produces the best results. Be sure to use separate syringes for colors and catalyst. Pot life is 20 to 25 minutes. A clean syringe is a simple and easy way to apply the enamel. For precise application of the enamel, we recommend using a needle with the syringe. This can be especially useful when creating artistic designs including gradients, swirls, color fades, and multiple other transitions and artistic effects. Catalyst is available in both low and high viscosity. When working with curved projects, the use of high viscosity catalyst is recommended. This is especially important when working with highly domed or curved projects. Curing requirements will vary slightly, depending upon whether you are working with low or high viscosity catalyst. With low viscosity catalyst, heat to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 66 degrees centigrade for one hour. If working with high viscosity duranamel, heat to 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees centigrade for three hours. Sometimes you may want to employ both high and low viscosity catalyst in the same design. In this circumstance, heat to 130 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. Let rest for at least two hours. The result will be very durable, like hard-fired ceramics, with a rating of 60 to 75 on the sward hardness scale. There are some projects, such as chipped appliance repair, where oven curing is simply not practical. No worries, you can cure duranamel, both low and high viscosity, at room temperature. It just takes a really, really, long time. About five to seven days. Syringes and needles can be easily cleaned by soaking in either acetone or duranamel thinner. Once dry, they can be reused. Neither sanding nor polishing are generally required. However, if you choose to employ these procedures, we do have some recommendations. Use a wet sanding wheel or wet sanding belt with a 320 or 400 grit, then finish with a 600 grit. Do not let the piece get hot as this could cause wrinkling or lifting of the epoxy. Use a standard soft felt wheel, or a muslin buff at 1250 RPMs. We recommend using blue platinum polishing compound. Do not press the duranamel against the polishing wheel. This could cause it to burn or to expand 
and then contract, popping the dew enamel off the piece. Instead, use light, soft pressure for best results. This concludes the dew enamel instructional video. If you have any questions about dew enamel or any other product or process, please feel free to contact us. Technical support is free of charge and there is no such thing as a stupid question. We will spend as much time with you as you feel you need.